What's up guys, I'm The Game Online and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this episode, we're building the Lemur Habitat for our Heimat 2. And um, I would say this is a really fun um, speed build video. I think it's really short compared to my last video, which was like, it was so long. And um, it was really fun building this because, you know, it was kind of like in my com comfort zone. You know, I played a, with a lot of fun stuff. Um, I had to make a lot of uh, enrichment items for the um, for the lemurs, the climbing frames, foliage, playing with water section, playing with the terrain, everything that I loved. But the thing that I did not like was to make the bridge because it was such a pain in the butt. I would say that like it was so hard. Um, but at the end, I managed to work it out. It was so fun. And I think I did not even include, yeah, I did not even include the um, part where I was building the bridge because it was just so hard. So yeah. And this is, well, this whole habitat is actually connected to, to this, like the main river section for the whole zoo. Um, and I really want to include other habitats in this river section. So it's more like kind of fun, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I don't know. It's just, I think it's, it just, as a little bit more of a realistic element. And so yeah, that's why um, this is my idea for the whole zoo and there will be more habitats in here. So yeah. And uh, and also um, in the last video, um, like I, it was just, I think it was such a mess because actually uh, my, like, my editing software wasn't working at that time and I was just in such a hurry. So I wasn't able to like, you know, fully like see how good I edited the video. And when I watched it again, um, it was just, um, I saw all the mistakes that I did. It just it was so hard. Um, it was just like, it was just so hard. I was like thinking to re-upload the video, but then I was like, you know what? Let's just let it be, you know, of course there's, a, there's obviously a second chance. So yeah. and. Um, other thing that I really liked about this habitat is the overpass. So people can, so there is this rope section that there, where people can see the lemurs, you know, going from the, uh, you know, between the two islands, and it's really cool. Um, also, um, I would say that I was having a lot of fun doing a lot of foliage, but then I stopped myself because if I did so much foliage, then you cannot even see those tiny animals. And, I was just like, you know what, I have to stop myself. Control, control. And that's what I did. <laughs> um, but I think the end result is really cool. Other thing is that the Keeper cannot reach the other island where I put the um, the forage food thing, I don't know what it's called. But um, so what I did was I put this, uh, this kind of like plank um, path for the um, Keeper to, you know, walk to the other side. And um, it was really, um, you know, difficult because um, I would say that first what I thought to make is like to block the whole um, area for the lemurs to not go to the other side. But then I realized how small they are and they are able to go to the, um, you know, they are able to um, walk through the little door gate thing. So that's why I was like, you know what, I will, I will not make something like that. Um, then I removed it and then I just went with a normal wooden plank path and I'm kind of surprised that the lemur actually don't go uh, They don't use the path. They use the rope section and they really, you know cl Climb and you know, you can see them go over um, over the guests and it's really cool um, and I think that the thing that really, you know, ruins the fun for me is that the lemurs are really glitchy and I think everyone knows who plays Planet Zoo that the animals, especially the monkeys and the primates, are really glitchy when they climb. And I can get that. I mean, that's kind of like a really cool thing that they can do. And of course, there are like trial and errors. And I get that because it's, I just think that, you know, it's a feature that is innovative. Like I never seen any kind of um, game do this before. So I would say like, it's really cool. Um, and um, I think, of course, if they make uh, another sequel or they update the um, animals, especially the monkeys, of course, you know, it will get better over time. And I think the proboscis monkey in the new uh, DLC works really nice. I think its climbing animations are so smooth 
it looks like a real monkey climbing game. I think it's been better over over the months and over the years. So um, yeah, but you know what? It's it's fine. Um, it's not ruin. Like it's not that you know that kind of like it's not that um, I was it's not that dangerous. Not dangerous? What? It's not that. Um, I don't know what what is the word. Um, but I think it's just that's not that important. I would say yeah, that's what I was um, um, looking for. I don't know what's happened to me, <laughs> but um, yeah, I would say that um, the oh yeah, one more thing. Um, so the climbing frame that I used is um, is a reference to a picture that I saw on Pinterest, and it's I think it was like for some kind of like African monkey or like African primate. I always mix them up because I don't know the difference. I think the difference is that the uh, primates don't have. Aren't primates and monkeys the same thing? I think apes don't have tails and primates have tails. My God, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I don't know a lot about monkeys, um, but I would say that um, it was like um, for some kind of monkey. I know that. I think it was for like a baboon or like a mandrill, something like that. Um, so yeah, I use it. I use that here. I think it's pretty much similar to that. Um, it's just that on the other island where, you know, the lemurs eat their food, um, it's kind of different. I use my own inspiration. That's why it looks hideous. Just kidding. I don't know. I'm not like really satisfied with it. So yeah. Um, the other thing is that the shelter section that I made for them, I don't like it. I mean, I like it, but I would say I can do better. I'm like not satisfied with it. I just think it's just too plain. It's too basic. I think it's just too squarish. Um, I would love to have some curves and just make it more like like kind of like smaller um so yeah um but there's not a lot of stuff inside of the shelter itself because they have this whole island and i just thought that if i added more enrichment items inside the shelter then they will not come outside and you know play with the whole climbing frame that i made for them so yeah i also added some climbing trees so they can climb and just make it more re realistic um so yeah um i think that's it um, um, I'm really proud of this habitat. I love the foliage that I did, and I love how um, I planned this out. Um, so yeah, and I would say that, um, you know, in, uh, enjoy the rest of the speed build. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and also I will see you in the next episode. Bye.
Amen.